What's up guys, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video we're gonna be talking about a quick little tip of using markers on the ice. So I mentioned this in a video recently and then I had a couple questions come in like which markers are you using, how are you using them, stuff like that. So I wanted to quickly go through, I've tested a lot of different markers at this point um, because I do like to use them on the ice. It's very useful, especially with the younger age groups when you know you wanna mark which direction they need to go around a cone or you wanna mark a spot. If you're using station practices, Oftentimes you can't use the uh, you know the the regular markings on the ice in the same ways that you can in like a full ice or a half ice practice. So oftentimes it makes some sense to draw on your own markings on the ice to mark where the line should start or things like that. So um, we're going to talk about a little bit about that today, and then I'll probably do a follow up video to this one, just showing some of these different marking marker types, like actually writing on the ice. So for this one, we're just in the office, and uh, we'll discuss it real quick. So um, I'm gonna start, so I've, I've done bingo daubers, I've done window chalk, I've done sharpies, um, and I'm gonna show you the one that I like the best first, and then uh, I'll talk about some of the other ones as well. So this is the one I like the best first, and uh, I've got the lid off. This actually gets a little bit messy because um, the, the type of marker this is, as you use it on the ice, it starts you know kind of getting itself waterlogged a little bit. So I'm gonna hold it up real close, and then I'm gonna show you some of the different ways that I use this. But this is a marker from Michaels. Michaels is a craft store, and I'm gonna show you the exact brand as well on this. But I wanted to start with the lid off just so you could see the tip. So it's a fat tipped marker, and that tip is actually like spring loaded. So um, the, the ink comes out, I think it's actually paint. It's like an oil based paint inside this. So the paint comes out as you push the tip down. So as you're pushing that thing down, then it flows out through it. It's like a felt tipped marker there. So that is by far the best one that I've used so far. So let me put the lid back on this so it doesn't spray red ink everywhere, red paint. Now you'll notice I've got this hooked up and this is, I'm gonna show you a couple quick tips with this. So I've got this hooked up to a carabiner with some twine wrapped up. Now what I've done here, I'm gonna undo this all the way. This twine is like, uh, what I did was, so what I do, this is for drawing creases in a station setting. So sometimes in a station setting, you've gotta put the nets somewhere where they aren't usually gonna be. And it's still helpful for the goalie to have a crease. I mean, I know you know goalie guys are gonna say, well, it's still not as good to be outside the crease because you don't have your same markings and things like that. I get it, that's true. Um, but at least we can give them a crease, right? You can't always have everything in the perfect situation for everybody. And uh, if you find yourself in a station-based practice, you will, by nature of the station base practice be using nets in irregular pl places on the ice. So at the very least you can give yourself a you can give your goalie a crease to work with. So this is what I do here is I take the carabiner and I stick it into the meshing right in the very middle of the net and just just barely behind that uh, that top crossbar. So right up in the in the top shelf there. Um, right in the middle just behind the crossbar. I hook that in and then I stretch out the the twine all the way out and then I take the marker and uh, just, it's almost like, you remember when you used to use like a compass at school and you could draw a circle? So the carabiner keeps it taut and then you just, you know, let me see if I can get it in here. So then the marker just comes like this and you just draw, you can draw an exact replica of a crease. So it's the exact same size. So all you need to do to make that happen is uh, hook your own carabiner in, don't tie the knot too per super tight yet, and then stretch the string out as far as it needs to be and you're gonna have this, the other end I just taped it to the marker with some hockey tape. So you're gonna stretch it out until the marker is exactly on the crease, and then that's when you tie your knot, right? And so then you got the exact the exact distance uh, from crossbar to crease, and then the crossbar is like where you've hooked it in with your carabiner, that's the center, like the fulcrum, where it goes around, and then you just draw a perfect crease every single time. So that's why I use that. Um, a quick side note, there have been times, so sometimes like, the way that we had it this year, I've, I've mentioned this a few times recently, but we had, um, for my scores and my peewees, we actually had three teams sharing the ice at once. And man, that was, like at first it was a challenge. So we'd have two stations of uh, quarter ice and then one station, so we'd rotate through every 20 minutes. So we had 20, 20, 20. So it was uh, 20 minutes of station, or of quarter ice, 20 minutes of quarter ice, and then 20 minutes of half ice. So at one point there was a time in the half ice where I wanted to do a drill uh, that worked on, that used circles. But the size of our roster is also quite large this year um, as well. We had uh, nine forwards, six D. So I didn't want to take, and like it would still have been too much standing around. 
But I figured we we have the size for a circle right in the middle, like between the two end circles and then come up. So it's kind of almost like a Mickey Mouse shape, I guess, if you want to imagine that. Um, so where, you know, just inside the center line, we could, we could fit a new circle that's not the center ice circle, right? So it kind of overlapped the blue line and into the neutral zone. Um, but so I took some other twine. I did the exact same thing. I had one of my coaches stand on a face-off dot and then I stretched the thing out and measured with some twine the exact uh, radius of the circle and then just hooked up my pen to, um, you know, to another one. And I drew a perfect, a perfectly round, uh, perfect sized replica of a circle in sort of the middle area of, uh, of our half ice in that station. So that, that now we have three circle stations that we could do this. Um, it was a touch pass passing drill. So um, awesome. It's, it's really, really useful. So I definitely recommend, especially if you're in like a station setting, there's so many different uses and ways of using uh, markers. Here's another one. This is kind of the next best one. And this is called glass chalk. Now, I don't recommend getting green. I thought green might be like, I started with blue and blue was fantastic. It worked pretty well. Um, I'm gonna take off the lid here. The only, the only real problem I have with this is you can see it's, uh, it's, so it's made for car windows. So you know, like when you write just married on somebody's car or whatever else. So it's got that, um, the little foam. The foam isn't super, it's not super durable. So it's got the foam and then there's a little red, uh, nozzle in there that depresses when you push in so it's again it's kind of spring loaded and um, <clears throat> the blue color worked great green is too light it's uh, it's too wimpy it doesn't show up as well as it needs to but the blue worked pretty well the only thing is that as the ice gets rough that the the rough ice starts tearing apart the foam the foam at the tip so that would definitely though blue maybe red would be my second best options there oh I should mention I forgot I was going to show you guys what the uh what the label looks like on this one. Sorry about that. So here's what it is, it's called Craft Smart. And let me just show you right there. That's what it looks like. It's Craft Smart and it's the waterproof, yeah, I covered it over, but it's a, it's a waterproof paint marker. These are like seven bucks at Michael's, but if you go to their website, they always have coupons and stuff, you can get like 40% off. So it is a little bit more of a pricey marker, but as far as performance, like it's definitely the best. It's, in my mind, it's worth it, especially if you get that coupon. So um, that's that. These ones are also decent, um, but I would definitely recommend a dark color. Don't get like a green. I also tried, I can't remember what the other one was, an orange, I think, and wasn't, uh, wasn't as good either. I've used bingo daubers. Those, are, those can be decent, actually. I had a bingo dauber that, it's, it's gone now, but uh, I used that for a little bit and um, it worked well. The only problem with a bingo dauber is that again, it's got that foam tip that uh, it disintegrated over time. You know, as as I was using it on the ice, so the foam tip disintegrated before the ink ran out in the bingo dauber. But as far as like ice markings, it was actually very, uh, very useful and worked well. The last one that I have seen is um, these fat sharpies. They're like the I forget what they call them. This is another. I, I thought maybe because when I saw that this one was seven bucks. I was like, well, maybe the Sharpie would do it. And I found one that was oil-based just like this, it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, and it's a fat one, it's very similar in setup, but it just, you know, it's got that thicker tip, but not as thick as, um, as the red one. But as far as uh, like performance, didn't work nearly as well. So if you have to, Sharpie could be decent, but um, the best one by far and away is this red one. And like I said, you can use it to draw creases, you can use it to draw an additional circle, and you can actually get very exact if you use some twine. Um, but those are the primary ones that, that I've used and that I've tried and that are working well for me. So my first choice, the Michaels one, Craft Smart. Uh, it's a waterproof, oil-based, it's like a paint marker. The next best would be the glass chalk, but don't get green, get blue. Blue is the one that I used and had great great results with. Um, red, I think, would probably be okay, but shy away from like the lighter colors. Uh, Bingo Dauber would be next. Bingo Dauber actually probably performed better than the, than the glass chalk, but it disintegrated faster. So the tip, like I said, wore out. And then last and least is the, 
the Sharpie brand. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'll see what I can do about putting links in the in the blog post for this. So if you wanna just click straight through them, I'm not affiliated with Michaels in any way. I may put an affiliate link for the um, Amazon ones on these, but um, either way, it's no big deal. So just make it a little bit easier for you guys. So that's that. Uh, Ice markers, definitely something that I would recommend looking into if you're not using them already. They can be very helpful in drills and uh, hopefully that helps you in your coaching in some small way and uh, we'll be back again soon with more videos like this. And if you want more um, more information on you know coaching tactics, things like that, uh, visit us at weisstechhockey.com.